Hello, today I'm going to talk about Serial Key Manager. I'm going to start off with, with a short overview and uh, later on I'm going to show some basic uh, f functions and uh, features that are currently available in Serial Key Manager. So, let's start with uh, an overview. So, Serial Key Manager is uh, an on online interface for a currently existing software called Software Protector and uh, I have a link open here. So here how the Software Protector website looks like. You can see the main idea with Software Protector is to protect your .NET framework, .NET targeting applications and uh, it's quite a simple interface. And uh, what it also does is that you can then go to the SKGL project, which by the way received a new update uh, two days ago. Uh, and uh, this is the actual library, the actual uh, API that you can include into your .NET project in order to be able to use the, these protection features. So let's now talk about the main functions of, soft, of Serial Key Manager. So I've already created an account and I'm going to use that. As you can see it's, uh, it's simply a login form here and uh, once we log in this is how the interface looks like. So it's not nothing compli more than complicated than that. So now let, let's see if we can give this a uh, really short uh, uh, overview of this. And uh, the first thing I'd like to show you is that if you're already familiar with Software Protector you might know that you have a password and that's the password you, you should store in a safe location because the password uh, is the main thing in Software Protector. In Serial Key Manager, it is kind of the same too, but, but one difference is that you have products instead of passwords. So, for instance, when I, I, I think I already have products here, but let's see, if I create a new product, I'll have to specify the product name. So, in this case, uh, w imagine if Software Protector would be um, uh, a shareware. And now it's not. So Software Protector and Serial Key Generating Library, SKGL. So those two projects, they're free of charge. You can get the source code. You can get the source code for SKGL in both C Sharp and Wushal Basic. So it, it's just a matter of taste, what you like, and you can that you can get. So it's a big uh, opportunity to, and, uh, to choose whatever you like. But now, back to Serial Key Manager. Now you, you can create a simple product. So in case, let's call it Software Protector. And I'm again, I'm going to be quick. A password, well, let's, let's call it secret with a dollar sign. And um, put the description. Well, why bother that much? When well, we can just copy and paste. So, good. So now I've created uh, a new product. And as you can see, once we, when we refer to the product, we refer to basically the product name. We don't refer to the password. So as you can see here, we simply refer to the the name of the product. And uh, w once you've created a new product, what you can do is you can generate keys. As simple as Software Protector allows you to do. In Software Protector, however, there is one thing that uh, is not included, which is included in this uh, web application, and that is to be able to store all the generate keys that you get. So for instance, if I say get an order, uh, a customer would like to order uh, 1000 serial keys, or let's let's start with 100. And uh, we, we can say that we, we, we've we defined, so there are five features, or actually no, we'll just keep it simple, two features. Like this, they should be true, and uh, well we can have some no's to uh, Paul or to Scott. Yes. So that's kind of the notes. 100 keys and uh, let's say they should be 4 to 5 days until like, they expire. So now I'm creating the keys and as you can see I get the notes here and I get all my keys. One of the things you can do too is that you can take this key that you have here, copy it and then you insert it into the validation box and then, in the beginning, it just says that it's valid and it can, it, can, it can be found in your database. But if you press show more info, it will give you an overview of the 
of, of th these features that the key has. So once you start to generate a lot of keys, and of course Software Protector and SKGL and Serial Key Manager allow you to generate a lot of keys, you'll have a lot of pages with 100 keys each, in case you want to have that many keys, and it might be a good thing to do when you want to validate the key, just to see if it works, to enter it here, and then it will look through the database and tell you if it exists. And I would like to show you what happens if you enter you if you use Software Protector instead. So in Software Protector, now let's copy the password here, since otherwise we can't generate keys. Copy the password and let's generate a new key. And let's set this to 100. You can see it's valid, it's great, we copy the key, we insert it into this box, and we validate it. And now it says something different. It says the key is valid but cannot be found in our database. And that's something to consider because in case you want to validate, because Software Protector allows you to validate your keys online, it provides you with that feature as well. Uh, so Zero Key Manager, I mean, it allows you to do that. In here, you can customize. We'd like to allow the customer to use the key or should you have generated the key in the database first before the key can be valid. And as you can see, you can get the same features. You get 100 days period. And, I mean, all those stuff that you would get in Software Protector. I'll, but this is online, so you, once you have your, your account, once you log in, you have the software protector anywhere, anytime in the world. Now, as, we, as you can see, you have these cool features to export keys to Excel, and uh, you can export all of the 100 keys you've generated here, or, or you can also export all of the keys you've generated. And that might be good if you uh, rather prefer Excel, or just like to send those 100 keys to your customer and it, it's of course easier to just press export keys and you get the file here. Uh, you can basically look around and see what, what you can do there. Now I would like to go back to the other feature that's also quite important and that is online key validation. And uh, I think b w what you can do is that you can allow users to validate um, uh, pro a key that, that's if it's and see if it's associated with one of the products you have and one of the conditions here is that the product has to be you have to specify that you want people to or you want to allow users to validate your keys online because this is something optional you don't need to but you have to set is public to be true so you what you do is you edit it and put is public to be true you edit this you go back here into the home menu you go on to online key validation now you get software protector here so uh, let's now see what we can do. Let's see what fu fun we can have with this. So, I mean, simple to use. Just choose the project you want to have and get the code, unless you want something else to happen. And now when you copy the code, very simple, control C, what you can do is that you, uh, you can create your own HTML, uh, HTML document. And uh, actually, I think I'm going to do it in an online interface instead but you'll see the point here. So imagine this is your website, you and, and this is kind of how it's going to look like. Oh, And uh, here's what we get. Uh, and of course you can customize this in any way. L now let's see if we, what we can do here. So if I go to back to my product, I go back to Software Protector, I take any key here in the database, so let's take the 15th key, and I enter it here and I validate it. And it says the key is valid. And that's exactly what we want to get. Because, yes, in fact, the key is valid. Uh, now, let's see. No, uh, I'm sorry. So, here. So, now we compile it again, and if we enter something entirely different, some nonsense, then the key is, of course, not valid. And of course, at this point, you can see it's kind of a simplistic way of validating your keys. But uh, in the nearest week, there is going to be a feature, or, or quite soon at least, which will allow you to get some more information about the key. At this point, it's a restriction, but it's it doesn't take that much that long to fix. So this last minute, I'd like to give you a short summary and uh, show you what you can do later on using the API and the Software Protector itself. So one, as you can see on this website here, in the in the home tab, you have um, links like how to implement 
this into your application and once you press on that link uh, you you'll be redirected to uh, a website and here you have um, very simple code that you can include into your application and this is in both Visual Basic and C Sharp so it's just to copy and paste and when you want to get some information from the key like wh when it, the key was created when it will expire what feature it has you can see how you can do it using um, any .NET targeting language and uh, everything here is explained so that's the good thing and uh, also you can also see some guides on how you can validate keys online and this is the one that I was talking about you can read more about that and uh, of course if you would have any questions you can see that you can visit either you search in our database or you can uh, write the question type the question here on the forum and since uh, this is based on another project called SKGL you can go into the to the discussion page here and depending on what questions you have you can either choose to now I think I'm in the well there are different discussions I think one if you would like to suggest a feature and one if you just want to get some support uh, and uh, here as well if you press on source code you can uh, go to the discussion tab and you see the same thing but this is kind of improvements for software protector and if you like to write something personal or something that you want, don't want to share you can always use the contact form it's available and um, also for news about Zero Key Manager I, rem I would like to recommend to stay updated on uh, this forum Oh, this blog I'm so sorry uh, so stay updated on this blog because here there will be some information both about Zero Key Manager updates and about SKGL library and sometimes about sort of protector but mainly about the API which would allow you to which allows you to implement uh, keys into your application and uh, basically the mechanism and the the serial key manager basically the interface that you can access online anywhere anytime so please just look through I think there, there there are some videos if you are interested about what software protector and SKGL are just to get an overview I would recommend you to check the YouTube my YouTube channel or I think in the in this week I'm going to add some video tutorials from YouTube so that you can get the uh, a basic understanding because that basically what, what this application is all about it's about um, simplifying and uh, making the improving the key generation uh, generation and validation experience and uh, since uh, everything is right now online everyone a, a lot of people use web, web browsers and it's kind of uh, and, and quite mobile I mean if you sh change from uh, a tablet or if you want to generate your keys somewhere else in a mobile phone then you can uh, do that and uh, you don't have this restriction of being in the .NET framework environment but I'd like to thank you very much for listening to my presentation about Serial Key Manager and as you can see I, I have just a short outline and uh, I'm going to try to really be of course there is information already on the support page but I'm going to try to uh, add some more videos that are going to be focused on specific features like the one you saw today and um, yes I think that was it thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you will have a nice day and that um, you'll try to check this out and see what you will think about it but uh, once again thank you very much and uh, have a nice day